www.bbox.forward.com. Thank you for BC. Today is the last day of uh, Environment Week. So it's very significant that Ford is celebrating their 100th anniversary at the tail end of Environment Week. And they're doing it, ironically, by backing off on an environmental pledge. So we're here to remind them uh, in Vancouver and in 20 cities across North America that that kind of broken pledge is not acceptable, that they better get with the message and the message is go clean, go green. Climate change is an all-encompassing issue. We know here in Vancouver in the GVRD, uh, almost half of all the greenhouse gases come from vehicles. This is a huge problem, particularly in North America, where we consume up to 80% of the world's uh, uh, energy, though we make up less than 15% of the world's population. We're, I mean, the bottom line is we're energy pigs. And we're responsible for a huge extent to the kind of global warming, the greenhouse gas problems we have. We're stripping our forests, we're, we're mining the earth in order to produce larger vehicles which really aren't necessary. Clearly what we do here, what we do across North America has a huge impact on the uh, temperate rainforest in BC, on the rainforest in tropical areas as well. I'm here today not so much even specifically for to protest for it, but just cars in general because I really do think they're destroying the planet and everything on it. Um, when we look at what just happened in Iraq, I mean, that was, you know, a lot of it was about oil and oil war. And then we talk about, you know, the, the carbon gases that we're emitting and killing ourselves with the global warming that's leading to desertification, that's leading to the melting of the polar ice caps to ultimately lead to the flooding of the entire planet. Cars, is, they're not, the way they're run now, they're not a feasible method of transportation. And people need to start really thinking about the future and not living for their, their gratification in the moment. This is Bicycle Month in uh, Vancouver. Uh, what we see here around us in this very intersection is exactly the kind of planning we don't want. This is the... This is a vivid demonstration of the worst kind of non-bicycle planning. We see four corners here designed for cars and vehicle access only. It stinks here, it's dirty, it's loud. No, no pedestrian wants to be here more than the time it takes for them to get across the street and get out of here. We have not thought about bicycles, we've not thought about pedestrians here. So if any message we get in Bicycle Month is we need to rethink our car addictions. And it's simply that. It's, it's an addiction, it's a disease, and the very example is right here where it's destroying our landscape and our cities. All right, thank you.